And here is our, at least our crude product. Um, the odor, when you smell it, has changed from methanol. It's like an alcoholic type odor still, but it's got that characteristic kind of weird, it's kind of hard to describe if you ever smelled formaldehyde before. It, it's a, it's, it's, I want to say it's like musty, but it's not. It's, it's really hard to describe, but it smells more like formaldehyde than alcohol. Uh, I'm going to fractal distill this now with better fractionation and just that um, condenser as a fractal, fractionation column. And uh, we're going to see if we can get any fractions out of this. Uh, I highly doubt it, though. Um, and if we do see any fractions, I, I think the increment um, between them is going to be very small. We'll see. Here's the flask that we were boiling everything in. You can see we were able to get pretty much, you know, the the main majority of everything out of there just by scraping it out. It was pretty well dry. I mean, it's still damp. It's got some residual sulfuric acid in it, I'm sure. Uh, we need to wash that out, but we'll just save this stuff for later. Don't really have an immediate use for it, but it's pretty, so we'll keep it. guys so here's what's up I just stopped the distillation um, I collected one fraction if you want to call it that and that's what we're looking at right here and there's about uh, I'd say this is probably about 20 25 mils of our suspected formaldehyde and that came over at between 39 and a half and 62.2 and the only reason that I let the fraction go to such a long extent um, is because I didn't notice any th there was no like phase separation coming over or anything that I could see visually um, that would give me a cue that I was getting anything different I think it was just getting hotter and it had to warm up because it didn't it didn't settle out at all like a lot of times when you have two separate boiling um, compounds together like you'll, you'll reach a a phase where they're boiling and it will kind of taper off and then all of a sudden you'll either have a, a decrease or increase rapidly when the second fraction starts to boil and that didn't happen at all 
So that's why I collected all of it. But so I, I collected that, switched out uh, my receivers right here. I got this guy on there now. There's only a couple drops in it. And all of a sudden, um, I you saw how this was boiling up into here. I switched this out and put something bigger down in here. And it, it just wasn't working. And I was afraid it was going to boil over. And I took this apart. And I noticed that right down here, if you can see where my thumb is, I got a crack in this guy now. And all of a sudden over in here, you can see that's cracked. So I've got two pieces of glassware down here. This one, not so big of a deal. I'm going to take the Dremel and shear it off above this. And then I'll have a 2429 instead of a 2440, which will still fit all of my stuff. Not that big of an issue. But this is just fucked. I can't use that anymore. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. So I'm just calling this quits with what I got right here. Um like I, I could do like a fellings test or something like that to show you that I have formaldehyde in here indeed, but I'm kind of over this now that I've got two pieces of glassware down in this endeavor. It was very easy to do this otherwise, um, but now I've got two pieces of glassware down I got to deal with, so yeah, I'm just kind of over it. So we're calling it quits here. Uh, this, I guarantee you, is not methanol i mean methanol boils at minimum of like 64 and a half ish right in there and like the most this came over at was 62 too so we're still you know over two degrees celsius difference lower than what we would be i guess is the important part over two and a half degrees lower than what we would be if we were getting methanol and um, formic acid boils at about a degree hotter than water does it boils at 100.8 c so it's definitely not formic acid definitely not methanol could it be some type of a mixture of methanol and formaldehyde probably that's probably what it is because the way i figured my stoichiometry i used excess methanol but i did that so that we would end up with anhydrous product at the end you know it's methanolic instead of aqueous basically is, is the only difference so um, I think that's why it's got some of the alcohol smell to it but it definitely smells like formaldehyde should so we're just going to call that proof and if you guys want to do this, this is pretty simple just you know be careful with the acids and the dichromates all right y'all see you next time